Hello, I'm Tim McFadden. I've been 3D printing for a few years now. What I wanted to show you was how to take this cardboard spool and put it on the Bamboo Lab spool. So in this case, this one came with my 3D printer. It has the support material on it. Probably not gonna use the support material all that much. And so um, what I'd like to do is take it off this spool and put this Overture matte white spool, um, this cardboard spool, on there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Take your desk out. And what we and I'm sure a lot of you've seen this hack here where you stick these spools on here and sometimes they fit great. Uh, in this case this one actually fits pretty tight. I've had quite a few where the spools bent um, or it's actually just too skinny and it doesn't actually stay on here. And uh, I know there's a couple different uh, versions of these out there, but honestly, my experience, even when they do get on there really nice, what happens is I put them on there, and then as it's in the spool, the spool tends to be bent, or like I said, just it's just not straight. And so the spool's like going like this inside of your AMS system, and obviously that's no good. So what I've been doing is taking this, taking the spool off, and put it on here. So let me show you what I do here. So this is my favorite tape. This is the um, exterior scotch tape for painting. So it's exterior painting tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I use this all the time for everything. Why this is great is because the exterior tape, the, when you have painter's tape, it's not going to stay sticky. So as I stick it on here, um, it's gonna come off real easy. And it rips real easy too, which is also nice. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and take this tape and take it on my um, support. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just tape this up here. So as you can see, I'm just, I'm trying to tape it as close to the edges as I can. So as I go ahead and tape this up, And then I'm also gonna to go to the other edge. So I'm gonna move it over here and get to this edge. And also you can see here, I'm tucking this one piece inside here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. So as I already have it taped, I know it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that piece off so it kind of, and then tuck it underneath the tape. I'm gonna cut it off again actually. Holding this real tight. I also make sure that that one piece is actually real tight in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this all up. And I use kind of a lot of tape because uh, it's more important for me to, the tape's cheaper than a roll of, uh, a roll of this stuff. So it's obviously worth it. So now what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and just take this thing apart and carefully pull this off. And being that I'm going to save this, this piece, I'm going to go ahead and tape the sides of it as well. So let's just go ahead and tape the sides of it. Tape one over here, and then tape this side over here, right? And now I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Actually, what you want to do is flip this over and pull this up, right? And then also tape the sides of this one as well. That one kind of got away a little bit. So let's go ahead and tape this. Should be fine, though. Uh, even if it's a little bit loose, no big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and tape the sides of this. Okay, now I got my roll here. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stick this in my food saver so I can save this. Right, food saver bag, put some desk in there, and go ahead and I'm going to seal this up. Right. So I think it's on. I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. Seal this up real good.
And what that's going to do is take all the air out of this. And this is a support material, so it's obviously super important to get the uh, all the air out of this. It's going to and it's going to get it all out, and then it's going to seal it. And then what I do with this is, in this case, I have another support one, but what I would do is actually stick it inside the bag. So if I had taken it out of the bag, I would save this, this uh, silver bag, stick it in there, and just close it up, right? So I know it's sealed and it's protected from the UV, uh, UV rays. So I'm going to put that aside. So now I have my spool here, and it's, uh, you know, now it's usable spool. So what we're going to do here is the same process, right? So now I'm going to, this is a brand new spool and I'm going to go ahead and just tape it up. Make sure that this, I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is real tight too. So um, just make sure that the, make sure that's nice and tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape that up. A lot of times too, I like to just tape that one first. Tape this one up first. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape this nice and tight. I'm going to take this spool holder off because we're not going to use this. I'll put some links on the bottom of the YouTube video. There's a couple different kinds of these. If you want to try them out, give them a try. Like I said, I've tried them. They work great if you're printing one color over and over again. But if you're going to use the, the multi-material system and print multi-materials um, like some type of uh, character or something like that, when they're going in and out, in and out, in and out, you want these things to be really, to just work really well. And so I found that these bamboo spools actually work the best. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually do the same thing I did before. Is just tape the sides of this with this with this excellent tape here, this exterior tape, painter's tape. So tape this up real nice and tight. And I'm going to try to get as close to the edges as I can. See so here, I'm just really trying to get it as much as I can on the edges. And I like doing this with a new spool because now, you know, doing it with an old spool or with it, obviously I'm going to have the whole spool on this roll. Okay, so here's this one here. And then also I'm going to go to the other side now and just use a bunch of tape and tape it up real tight on the edges. Tape, but it's worth it. And the tape's not that expensive. All right. Now I got it nice and tight in here, nice and taped up. Um, see all the edges, everything's all covered up, right? So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and rip the sides off this thing. I'm going to do it super slowly, though. I'm going to do it very carefully, just one side at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this off. See, I'm just pulling it off. And it comes off pretty easily. Just go ahead and lift it up and round it. And you'll see maybe there might be a little bit. Now I want to hold it in there real nice and tight. I'm going to rip this piece off. And then I also, you can see here, I don't want to, there's stuff to get away. But now I also want to go ahead and rip the insides of this stuff off here. So I'm going to go ahead and just rip this out. And so what I'm left with is, if I can do this, is I have a nice spool. It's all together, right? This is kind of like how bamboo ships them, actually, but they have little pieces of plastic to hold the spool in place. So I'm just going to hold it down and then just slide this on top here and then hold that nice and tight, flip that over, and do the same thing on the other side. So just slowly rip up the sides here. And it comes up pretty easy. Just kind of rotate it. And rip it up. Make sure you don't touch the spool of the, the actual filament down there. And then slowly pull it up. And there's the, the piece there. And so I'm going to kind of hold it in place here as I rip the inside of it out. Okay, take my other piece that's right here. Hold it tight and slide it down in there. Slide it around so I can get it in place. And then what you want to do is lock it in there, right? And now 
Look at that. We have a nice spool ready to go in the bamboo spool. Now I just take this tape off. I be careful to look for where the Oxat one piece is that's at the start of it, right? We taped it up in there somewhere. So let's, once you get to that, you wanna make sure you hold that down, pull that off, pull this piece off here. Make sure your spool is nice and tight, pull that piece out. And I also, I like to maybe pull a little bit out just to make sure that it's not maybe gripped in the side over here. And I'll go ahead and snip it. And then I'll go ahead and put it inside my AMS. I'll pick it up and pull it over a little bit. Remember to push the little button inside the AMS. So I'll push that in and there we go. Now I have a perfect spool in the Bamboo Lab spool without messing with any of the other stuff. And this thing's gonna roll perfectly and you have no issues. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in, uh, in the comments below. And thank you for watching.